I took over Borussia Dortmund when they have just lost a fresh Champions League final. But with the comings of Alfonso Davies and William Saliba, this team is looking quite alive. But it would not be easy as our own players are ditching us. For example, Sule, he just left for whatever reason and that has left us in the mud. But no worry guys, we are over here to take over Borussia Dortmund and we will take them to glory once again. And so guys, welcome back to yet another episode and guys, we are over here with our team Borussia Dortmund and one thing I've noticed that this team has got potential but there's some players who are lacking the ability to play at the top level so I was just scrolling through our players and I just found Giovanni Reyna I've completely missed him in the first episode, he is a gem he is the bowler that can take us to the top level because he's still 20 years old, he's from America and the overall stats are quite decent so I think he can be a really good substitute for Diego Malen when he gets injured or his stamina lacks so I think so Reyna can be a super sub and by the way Sebastian Haller was good in the previous games but still look at the pace 62 pace only this is something he lacks to play at the top level at the Bundesliga so maybe if he keeps improving I will keep in the team but if he lacks scoring goals or he, if he cannot win his individual battles the January window is coming and we might have to look for options maybe try Makoko or go for a super striker guys it's yet another away game so in this game I'm trying some new faces first first of all I'm starting Marco Reus because of his experience let's see what he has to the team and for a bit more pace I'm looking forward to start Mokoko as well let's see what he can add to our uh, game so this is this is the starting level I'm going with otherwise uh, I'm confident all around what a beautiful day to play some football guys and it's a beautiful stadium all around let's it's another away game I'm confident that's all we can get the three point today because I really want to go on the top of the table in this episode Eddie Emi with the run down the wing I'm seeing Makoko, what a beautiful pass by Adiyami, Makoko has its chance and he scores in the 4th minute, this is what I'm talking about, Sebastian Haller come outside, it's Makoko, he's got the pace and he certainly has got the finish as well, what a beautiful run by Adiyami and then a beautiful pass to Makoko who finishes with ease in the side netting. 1-0 Borussia Dortmund, that's what I'm talking about. By the way guys, we're literally playing a club that's called Freiburg, like they should be flipping burgers out there not to be playing in Bundesliga yeah I know that was not good Alfonso Davies with some room out there Makoko is making run I'm seeing runner at the right side nice looking ball but he just can't reach there Diego Malen by the way Schlotterbeck is playing with his former club I hope that does not affect his game over here now Freiburg has a chance over here some defending to do that was nicely done and Sabitzer clears it away an early ball towards Diego Malen he cuts inwards sees Makoko that was not the good ball that was not a good ball good but the ball was lacking efficiency here's Makoko again Denied. takes it through what a beautiful save by the keeper Sabitzer with a good pass to Marco Royce he has some shooting to Denied. do but that's a nice save the shoot was good, the finish was good, but the keeper is, has really stepped up big time in this game. Now a counter-attacking chance for Freiburg, I just have not noticed it. Adiemi is tracking back of Alpe, what a beautiful tackle there son. That's what I'm talking about. The attackers and the defenders, they're working together. So half time guys, still 1-0. And that's really nice to see because we have really stepped up big time in this game. This is looking like a team that really wants to challenge for the top spot. And I guess guys, this is the moment. Diego Malen has really good, but I'm gonna try the gem that we have just found. Giovanni Reyna, let's see what he can do in this game. Marco Rossi have been super, but I really want to give Brand some more game time because he scored the brace on the opening day. Remember that. So I think so, we're good to go for the second half. No, Freiburg has a chance. Start back, tracking back again. Nicely done again. I literally just made a, a masterclass comp of Alfonso Davies and Dr. back in this game. Saliba has been a bit, you know, he's been ghosting a bit much. But still, that's enough because we are winning the game. As soon as we are winning, it doesn't really matter that who performs or who does not. Oh, Reina steals the ball over here. That's what I'm talking about. The offensive and defensive determination of the players. Sabitzer has the ball, but he just can't find the pass. Here's Reina. Let's see what he can do. Go on, kid. Play a nice looking ball in, that's a nice looking ball, but that was a good ball, but the defender just steal the ball at the right time. Corner coming up for Freiburg, that's all we can clear it away, nicely done by our player. He takes a good nice. shot and that's a nice save by Pobble, we survive again. And here we go guys, 
90 minutes done, 3 points, 1 nil victory for us. It's a really good victory on away day and 3 more points which will help us climb the table. The big moment guys, Champions League is here and oh my god, oh no man, we're in the mud. We're in the group with Manchester City. Damn oh man, that's gonna be a tough group. Sevilla is, is good, Copenhagen, we should beat him easily as well. I think so Manchester City is the only team that's tough in this group. Other groups are quite good as well, no, but we only care about our, our group, man. I think so, if we beat Manchester City, then we can go on to the win the Champions League as well. Because I think so, we'll go through this group, but it's gonna be a tough group. Because Sevilla can be tricky, City is always tricky, and you never know against Copenhagen because who knows when we can bottle this but i think so it's a decent group only one team that is troubling me is manchester city that bald guy he's gonna win the champions league again look i know guys that makoku was really good in the game he won us the three points but i'm just gonna start hilarious in this game because of his experience of course he had just scored in the semi-finals as well uh when coming back from the cancer so i think so he's he's a really good player and he's got the experience in the champions league as well he scored in the in the, in the, in the tournament so i think so he can help us get the three points here we go guys, Signal Iduna Park at the Champions League opening. What a beautiful stadium to play Champions League nights in. And the atmosphere is rocking good. And this is the day we start our Champions League campaign. I don't care about the Bundesliga, I don't care about the Cup. I care about the Champions League because we had just bottled it recently against Real Madrid. And if we can get through these games against City and Sevilla, I think so, we have got everything to go on and win the cup as underdog. But first of all, we have to put results on the table to win this game against Copenhagen. Sebastian Hilaire with the ball. Go on, run, run man, run. He takes the shot and he puts it in the net. Let's go. Sebastian Hilaire opens the score in the fifth minute. That's what I meant when I, I said that I'm going, going to start him because of his experience in the Champions League and he just proved why he's the man for the job although he was a bit slow in the 1-1 scenario but still he has always got the finish what a beautiful finish he just dosed the defender and put it in the side netting a really uh, this finish is really similar to ones of makoko but still who cares man we're one nil up in the champions league oh that's a nice looking ball for brant and sebastian haller the first touch was, was not so nice but still I'm lacking the attempts that he's taking guys. Sebastian Haller has been really stepping up. Looks like he's fighting for his player in the, fighting for his place in the starting eleven. And by the way, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this team is looking like that they want to redeem themselves after losing the Champions League final. They are here to win it. I can clearly see it in their playing style as well. Nice interception by our player. We have a chance over here. Sebastian Haller is 1v1 at the goal. He's gonna score, isn't he? The less said about that try, the better it is. Come on, man. These are the moments where we have to score. Sebastian Hilaire threw on goal, but he missed a sitter like that. Should have been better. If Mokoko was in the situation, maybe he could have scored. Here's Diego Malay. Oh, I thought he scored, but he hit the side netting. Maybe we just have played the ball in. That could have been a better option. Sebastian Hilaire again. This time he cuts in. And he's going to score this time, but it's saved by the keeper. The lack of agility of Haller. He's good in finishing, but maybe if he could have been a bit faster and a bit more agile in his technique there, it could have been better. So I think so. He's a good player, but in January, maybe, guy, let me know if we want to change some things around. Maybe we can go for a really decent striker who can finish in all scenarios. Let me know in the comment box, guys. I really need your suggestion. Sebastian Hillary again. Here's Brandt. That's a nice ball. Julian Brandt is got to finish. He's, he's missed it as well. Why are we not taking our chances? Oh no, we're giving the ball away in the last minute. What have we done? Nicely defended, man. This team is giving me heart attack. Can we get a final chance? No, but I'm happy with the result. 1 0 in the Champions League. Look at our fans. They're celebrating and everything. Three points in the Champions League. Three big points. Giovanni Reyna has been decent in the last 10 15 minutes. Adiemi has been super. Marco Reyes has been good, Makoko with a nice little chance at the end, everything was nice. Sebastian Hilaire with a nice goal in the Champions League, but he wasted four chances. 
So guys, three big points in the Champions League. So guys, yet another game in the Bundesliga and we have another game at Signal Iduna Park which is an advantage to us because of the home effect and let's see if we can get the three points because Wolfsburg is a really tricky team to play with. Oh no, Wolfsburg has a big Denied. chance but Coleman, how has he saved it? He's superhuman! Wolfsburg have a corner coming up that's nicely headed and we're 1-0 down. That's what I was saying because Wolfsburg is a really tricky team and they just got past us. Get out of my face, man. Wolfsburg have a chance again over there. That's, what a beautiful play by them. Look at them just passing the ball around in our box. That's Denied. a nice shot, but it's punched away by Kobol. We'll keep it in. And then their big chance of Wolfsburg. Oh, they're Denied. passing the ball around with ease and they just... It's going in? Oh no, man. Now we're in the mud. How has it squeezed it in? Cobalt man with all the big saves that you have made. What was that man? You got to punch it away. But I, I know it man. He can do every single thing out there. That was a really good finish. 2-0 to Wolfsburg. Another chance. Mokoko has got the ball. Denied. Takes a shot but it's punched away by the Wolfsburg keeper. Nemesha man all the way through. He's through on goal. He just cannot do better in the final third man. Like we have got to take a shot. Maybe cut in. We just went go through in the box but then we just cannot finish it up nicely it is it is the lack of the finishing touch that the, the players have got over here makoko takes a shot oh we got a chance namesha man come on man you got to get to the ball over there branch with a shot and he's a score from one from outside the box let's go oh my god what was that man what was that Julian Brandt, you're kidding me, goal of the season contender. I want to see that again, man. My cheer, man, my flipping cheer. Damn, man. He, got, he gets the ball, and just outside the box. A nice angle for it. Damn, man, with all that pressure, he takes a shot. Oh, damn, man, that's smooth. That's smooth, man. As smooth as Real Madrid's Champions League winning title. Come on, man. I did not expect it to brand to just pull off a screamer. We have got 15 minutes to try and equalize and maybe find a winner. Let's go, guys. Let we believe in Borussia Dortmund. Oh, we have a big chance. We have opened it up. Reina, the gem. He takes the shot and puts it in the back of the net. Let's go. 2-2. We're in the game, guys. Come on. Come on, man. We are BBB, Giovanni Reina, that's what I was saying at the start of the episode, he's a baller, I didn't know man how we have opened them up, just like that man, we have struggled the whole game, then we score a screamer, and then we open them up like, like with so ease, and the Giovanni Reina with a perfect finish shot in the back of the net, damn man, you can't write this off man. Oh, it's another chance for us in the final minutes, we have opened them up. And here's Makoko who scores in the final minute. You cannot write this off. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe it, man. Wow, oh, damn. Look at the scenes. How did we do that? One screamer has changed the course of the game. Wolfsburg, they just stopped believing. We did not stop believing. 3-2 and it's the 90th minute I guess. It's the 90th minute. Is it? Yes it is in the final minute. That's why we do not concede in the final minute man. They have just, they have just lost any hope they have gotten. In the final minute but who cares. We have done it. In the final minute. It's 3-2 Borussia Dortmund. Let's go. The greatest comeback in the history of the Bundesliga. So guys, after that crazy game against Wolfsburg, we have a cup game coming up next and this guy called Jamie by Noe Gittins, I hope I'm pronouncing it well. Just wondering boss, have I got any chance of being involved in our next game? Like, which parent would name his kid Jamie by Noe Gittins, man? If I had the name, I would have just, just went out of the house, man. I think so, who is in charge? No, I should be decent. You will get your chance, man. That's all. Because it's a cup game, I can start our B team. It should be okay. Up next, we have a cup game against RB Leipzig, DFB Pokal. It's a good cup to win. Uh, so I think so. 
our luck is like that we have got the toughest team we can get in this cup man but still i'm gonna play my b team for this uh match because i've got to give game time to other players as well Haler starts reyna hazard and all other players humo starts the first game by the way this season so let's go we can progress in this cup and attack by rb leipzig let's just get out of the situation nice back heel pass still with them oh shot back that was a nice body by him oh they have a free solo run we have commented so many players and that was a nice sliding tackle by Hummels who deceived the player and this nice save by Kobel in the end. Now Reyna has a chance at the wing. I'm seeing Hazard. I play it in Celestian Haller score. That was so easy man, that was so easy. There we go, 1-0 in the cup. Celestian Haller, although it was a tap in but a goal is a goal. But all the work was done by Giovanni Reyna. That's what I mean, man. He's a baller. Another chance for him. Here's Reyna. Cuts in beautifully. Cuts in again. Takes a shot. And it's called Wondi Reyna. He has me on the feet, man. What a beautiful finish, man. Cuts away from one. Cuts away from two. Takes a shot in the ball back of the net. And the fans are going crazy. An assist and a goal from Giovanni Reyna. What more do you expect from him? We have opened them up again. Another chance. Sebastian Haller makes it three. It's so easy. 42 minutes. 3 nil up against Ari Leipzig. And we are going to knock such a big team which will make us really easy to progress into this cup and maybe potentially win it. We have not lost a single game today, man. Today, this episode has been great. It has been great for our team. We have found some new players and the way they have performed has an exceptional 3-0 up against a team like RB Leipzig. And there we go guys, 90 minutes, 3-0 for Borussia Dortmund. And we are progressing into the next stage of the cup. And we are, by knocking a team like RB Leipzig, man, that is great. Now we have a chance to potentially win the cup, to potentially go on in the Bundesliga as well. And we have a really nice start in the Champions League as well. So it's all looking real for us. Sebastian Haller with two goals impressed me in this game so he ma he's making sure that he can perform as well so i think so mokoko and haler they can fight with each other not the not the punching but fight for the place to maybe that, to look that who can start and then in january we will make our final decision as we have to sign anybody or we can trust the both of the lads so guys this is the moment where i'm going to wrap up the episode but behold because next game is against hoffenheim who is at the top of the table and we are second in the league if we win it we go at the top of the table so stay tuned in the next episode we can either potentially go at the top of the table Borussia Dortmund series has been really good I will catch you later from the top of the table